Alright, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon, and today I'm going to be making QuickBooks a little bit more interesting by showing you how to find important information while working in QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and go into our chart of accounts, and let's go into our checking account. Now, when you have large amounts of information in your register that kind of looks like this, it can be very difficult to find what you're looking for, especially if you're going transaction by transaction. However, this should never ever happen. So I'm going to show you an easy way to find what you're looking for. On your top left corner, you have a tab called Go To. When you click onto this, you're able to specify a field in which you're searching for. So you have a payee, a number, memo, and amount field. But today I'm just going to use the payee field. And I want to go ahead and search for a company called Sloan Roofing. So there it is, Sloan Roofing. And when I click Next, it should automatically find it. But this doesn't break it down the way I like to see it. What if I was looking for a different amount? So what you can do is you can go onto your keyboard and hit Control F. When you do, it brings you to a whole new page. Now what this can do for you is that it breaks it down a little bit more. So we have two tabs. We have a simple tab and then an advanced tab. But right now I'm just going to show you the simple tab. So you're able to pick out a transaction type. This can consist of invoices, checks, credit cards, or even bills. So let's go ahead and just use the invoice. You're able to pick out a customer name, if you know it, the date, so to and from, the invoice number, and then the amount of the invoice. I'm going to go ahead and use an invoice number 1074 and click Find. When I do that, it already picks up the invoice. And of course, you're able to double click into the invoice, and there you go, there's your invoice. But what if I want to broken down even more? You have the capability of going into an advanced tab. When you choose the advanced tab, it breaks it down on an unbelievable level. In fact, you're given so many options to choose from when you're filtering all the information. So let me go ahead and show you a quick example. Let me delete this, and then I'm going to be choosing an account field. Now, you have the capability of choosing all of your accounts, or you can choose one specific account. So I'm going to be choosing our checking. And then I will also be using an amount field. Now, if you know the amount already, you're able to choose what is equal to that amount, what is less than or greater than that amount. So I'm going to choose a thousand. So what is less than a thousand? It pulls all of the transactions that are now less than a thousand. But what if I want to choose greater than? Again, it breaks it down to what is greater than a thousand. Or I'm able to choose it what is equal to a thousand. So it breaks it down even further. Now one thing that most people are unfamiliar with is that you're able to click on to report and it creates a report for all the transactions that I had just showed you. And of course you're able to memorize this report. You can print it out, email it, or even export it into an Excel file. You also have the capability of going into export which brings it into an Excel file. Now the only time you would ever really need to export it is if you, of course, have questions for your clients. So I can create myself a category called Ask Client, put all of the transactions into that category, and then send it off to my client for, to be reviewed. So that breaks it down even further and makes it very easy and more efficient. So I really hope you enjoy watching this video, and please make sure to visit our website at PolarisBookkeeping.com. And of course, you can find us on Facebook or even follow us on Twitter. So stay tuned for more exciting videos on QuickBooks.